So we've asked ourselves, if hundreds or perhaps thousands of years have passed since the machine war, why haven't the machines cleared the black cloud from the sky? Humans are said to have scorched the skies in an attempt to stop the machine's power source during the war. But what if the machines are still slaves to the humans? What if humanity won the war? Today we're going to analyze five reasons as to why the humans won the machine war. Welcome to Matrix Explained. the desert of the real. This theory proposes the following. After humanity destroyed the sky, they won the war and the machines surrendered. The surviving humans later realized that the planet was too far gone. The damage to the ecosystem was severe, so they concluded that it was better to live in simulations. But what clues are there that point to this being a possibility? Number five the planet is destroyed beyond repair. The argument is simple. The planet is polluted and the sky is burned. The sun brings life and it is the biggest source of energy. However, the machines have not been able to clean the sky, nor is there any desire to do so. Whatever the humans did to the planet, it's irreversible. Earth is a living representation of a nightmare. All the people who live in Zion are in need and live in fear underground. Cypher hated that life and preferred to return to the Matrix. Between the hell on Earth and the simulation, many would choose to live within the simulation. Today, many people prefer to spend their time in social media or in virtual worlds like video games to evade real life. How much more dependent would we become if our world was destroyed and we had the option to escape to a simulated world? Number four, The Guardians. The Matrix comic Artistic Freedom tells the story of a woman artist who created sculptures of the Sentinels. She stated that when she was little, she woke up in a place surrounded by liquid and saw a machine that she thought was a guardian angel. What happened was, is that she woke up for a brief moment inside her pod in the real world, but was then put back to sleep and returned to the simulation. The strange thing about this is that it appeared that the Sentinels were taking care of the humans. And although Morpheus said that they used the dead to feed the living, Neo was freed without the Sentinel hurting him when he woke up. This did not make sense, because if Neo was no longer beneficial for the machines, he should have been eliminated. It was as if the machine did not want to hurt him. Number three, humans use other simulations in addition to the Matrix. The Animatrix episode, Matriculate, is a story of a group of rebels during the war. They used simulations to convert captured machines into allies. It's why we can show them a better world, why they convert. But that world we show them isn't real. It doesn't matter. Well, I'm afraid they'll figure out that we've made up the thing in our heads. They can't tell the difference to an artificial mind. All reality is virtual. How do they know that the real world isn't just another simulation? How do you? So the Matrix technology could have been invented by the humans. Something similar to what we see today with the Neuralink. We also know that the Red Pill ship's computers are used to enter the Construct and the Matrix. Mouse offered Neo to spend some time alone with the woman in red and told him not to deny his desires because that's what makes us human. Look, I pay no attention to these hypocrites, Neo. To deny our own impulses is to deny the very thing that makes us human. These clues are evidence that humanity may have created the Matrix to escape reality. Number two, the Zion system. The machines allowed the existence of Zion during the Matrix cycle. It's a part of it. The people who wake up from the simulation and wish to fight against the machines are placed in this city, a perfect rat trap. Everything indicates that the machines are the ones that create Zion at the beginning of each cycle. The fact that the machines allow the rebels to live in the real world may indicate that the robots do not want to eliminate the humans. Those who wake up are simply left alone in Zion until the time comes when the cycle is about to be restarted. And number one, the Matrix was humanity's plan. If the machines desire to take the energy generated by the human body, as Morpheus described, in order to change a human being into this, the creation of the simulation doesn't make sense. To start with, 
The first version of the Matrix was created as a paradise, where people can live in peace and fulfill their desires. The first Matrix I designed was quite naturally perfect. It was a work of art, flawless, sublime, and triumph equaled only by its monumental failure. The machines could harness the same amount of energy from the humans by keeping them in a coma. But for some reason, the robots decided to connect them to a simulation. Of course, this paradise world did not work out, and many humans woke up, which led to the creation of other simulations. Thus I redesigned it, based on your history, to more accurately reflect the varying grotesqueries of your nature. However, I was again frustrated by failure. The fact that humans still live in a kind of shared reality and are not comatose in their pods could point to the humans being responsible for the creation of the Matrix. Now if this is the case, then what would the plot of the Matrix look like? Well, either the humans destroyed the world at the end of the machine war, or they did it in a war between themselves. Regardless, the result was the destruction of their habitat. Humanity then decided to use the only tool they had left for hopes of happiness, and that was to live in a computer simulation. Many people would not agree with this, and the humans connected to the Matrix would feel guilty for what happened to the planet. So every human survivor from the war had their memories erased. In case some humans do wake up to the real world, a fabricated story about the war would be used. The tale of how humanity is a prisoner of the Matrix and to try to scare the fugitives or red pills from attempting to wake up other humans from their happy lives in the simulation. The machines were the guardians of a generation of humans that lived in the pots because they could no longer bear to live in a world that they destroyed. But do you agree? Do you think that the humans won the war or is the original story correct and the humans are slaves of the machines? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.